Well, we've featured a lot of success stories coming out of the valley, but this one takes it to another level. New Center 23 reporter Joan Gil Concepcion has the details. When Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2 debuts in late 2012, you're sure to see a lot of familiar vampires and wolves. But you'll also see a lot of fresh faces, including this new character who just happens to be from the valley. I always wanted to just kind of shoot for the stars and hope that I could make it. Marissa Quinn grew up in McAllen. This small town girl had big time dreams from an early age. Never in a million years did she think she'd be part of a worldwide phenomenon. And my character is South American and she's the aunt of a very, very pivotal character who's also half human, half vampire. And we come in at the very end of the movie at the height of all of the tension and uh, we kind of saved the day. Marissa was brought to tears when she told us about the day she had to leave her family in the valley. She spent years doing print work, commercials and small roles on TV after she left. And it wasn't until she landed the role Queen in the last Twilight movie that everything changed. She admits the road to the big screen wasn't easy. It's so difficult. Um, there's constant rejection and everyone will tell you like you're just you, you're not this enough. You're not that enough. You can't pay attention to any of the naysayers and you just have to believe in your heart that that's what you're meant to do. Quinn hopes she can pave the road for future actors and actresses launching her own production company earlier this year. She hopes to continue to bring diversity to Hollywood. When I was growing up, I really didn't have anyone to look up to on the silver screen. There was nobody that looked like me. Um, and now there is, and, and there's more, more than just me. There's several of us, but the more of us that break through and are able to get parts in major films and television and commercials, I just hope that little girls can grow up and, and look, look at the movies and be like, I can be like her. I look like her. You know, it's pretty to have brown hair and dark skin. <laughs> Papa, Quinn hopes to one day shoot a movie here in her hometown. Even though she lives in L.A., she wants to make sure she never forgets where she came from and that there's big dreamers here, too, in the Valley. There's such a big world out there, and it's worth it to just spread your wings and fly. For more information about Valley native Marissa Quinn, you can find her on Facebook, follow her on Twitter, or wait till the next part of the Twilight Saga premiering November 16th, 2012. Reporting in the Upper Valley, Joe Angel Concepcion, KVEO, New Center 23.